Did East Asians come from Africans? And why do some African groups, like the San people, have facial features that look Asian? The truth is more mind-blowing than most people realize. All humans alive today, including East Asians, descend from black African ancestors who left Africa around 60,000 to 70,000 years ago. These early Homo sapiens were dark-skinned and genetically African. As they spread across Asia, they encountered new environments, colder, drier, with less sunlight. Over tens of thousands of years, their bodies adapted. Traits like epicanthic eye folds, flatter noses, and lighter skin evolved to handle cold, wind, and low UV light, especially in East Asia. But here's what's wild. The San people of Southern Africa, some of the oldest humans on Earth, also have epicanthic folds and high cheekbones. Why? Not because they're part Asian, but because Africa holds the original blueprint of all human features. Some of those traits we now associate with East Asians may have existed in Africa first, then evolved separately in Asia due to similar environmental pressures. This is called convergent evolution, when two groups evolve similar traits independently because of similar conditions. So why don't Middle Easterners, who also live in deserts, have the same features? Because their deserts are relatively recent, their populations were highly mixed, and they relied on cultural adaptation like clothing and coal, instead of evolving new biology. So no, East Asians didn't come from Asians. They came from Africans. And the features we call Asian may actually reflect ancient African diversity, shaped and sharpened by nature across time.